Hi, and welcome to this video. Now I would like to show you Shopware 6 out of the box multi-site capabilities, in particular with respect to launching a new site, catalog segmentation, as well as localizations or other regional options. Now let's have a look together in our demo store. As you can see here, demo store was set up with the languages English but also Dutch and German. So if I switch to this uh, language now, German in my case, you see that the category structure, for example, and also the content is translated according to the language um, option here. In addition to that, I also enable different options for currencies, in my case, euros, but also pound, of course. So let's just assume um, we as the merchant want to launch um, only a specific a part of my entire standard product portfolio here contained in the demo store. For example, a specific brand or a specific product range, like in my case, um, or categories and products related to summer. And we want to give it a new name or logo called Summer Vibes. In my case, I've already prepared something, a new shop called Summer Vibes, which, as I said, contains different um, the different categories which are applicable for ruling out this brand shop which only has something to do with summer. So I took over test category, summer trends, summer barbecue and sale. And also here I want to have language options, in my case English and German, and currency options, in this case pound and euro. So now let's have a look at the administration, how you can actually roll out a brand shop like this Summer Vibes brand shop. Uh, in general, you can roll out new sales channels or new shops using sales channels down here by clicking onto the plus symbol. Overall, sales channels give you complete flexibility of all settings be it different templates for your client, different navigations and category structures, but also all other shop aspects, such as different payment or shipping methods or currencies, for example. Overall, all those shop settings for your different sales channels then can be set under settings and then shop. Here you find all of the respective things you need, like um, taxation, for example, for different shops, snippets, which contain the different language uh, packages. Um, also, for example, countries are relevant for you, languages, and as well, for example, currencies and um, payment and shipping methods. And those um, options you maintain here can then be allocated um, uh, respectively for your sales channels. So let's have a look at what I did for my brand shop Summer Vibes. You have general uh, settings and the theme allocation. Let's start with the general setting. Of course, you can give it a new name. And then we have the entry points for the main navigation, for the footer navigation, and also the service navigation, if you want to maintain this. And this links back to our catalogs module, where you set the different categories, different navigation structures for your shops. So let's quickly go back there to um, our categories. As you can see here, I've created two folders for my two uh, shops, which I created based on the sales channels concept. So I have uh, the categories under demo shop and the respective footer for this sales channel. And I have also done so by copying and duplicating categories for my catalog brand shop, which should only be a specific range of my categories in demo shop. In my case, test category, summer trends, summer barbecue and sale, and the respective footer with the shop pages on defective products, payment and dispatch, as well as further information, like for example, general terms and conditions and our imprint. So you see by handling the category um, module, you can easily set up different or alike category structures for your different um, sales channels or storefronts. Let's continue going through further configuration settings for our brand shop Summer Vibes. In addition to the navigation, you can now set the customer group, which is the default customer group for every customer who comes onto your shop without signing up. 
Then you have the payment methods. So payment methods, which you previously created under uh, settings shop, can now be allocated. In my case, PayPal and cash and delivery should be available for the brand shop summer vibes. And you need to set the default payment, in my case, cash on delivery. Same holds true for shipping methods. Here I allocated standard and store pickup, while standard being the default shipping methods. And now we come to um, very specific localization options for brand shop. Here the countries United Kingdom and Germany were picked, while United Kingdom is the default country. Um, in, uh, in allocation to the countries, of course, we want to set the right currencies, in my case, pound and euro, while pound is the default currency. And last but not least, allocate the respective languages, English and German, while English should be the default language. So how do you actually create for this sales channel different language shops? You do it based uh, on the domain section here. Here you can simply create additional domains. First off, we have our standard domains, so branddemoshop.com with the language English and the snippet set English are allocated as well as the currency pound. But we also added another URL, namely forward slash DE, which should um, be applicable for the German language and the currency euros. So let's have a quick look again in the storefront. Doing uh, or adding different domains with the different language uh, snippets uh, has as a fact that you now have this little language switch in the storefront. In my case, English and pound, but of course I can switch it to euros and also switch the language German. And as you can see, the different translations are now displayed for German. So this is how easy how, uh, this is how easy you can add language shops to your main sales channel, in my case, the brand demo shop. Going further down, you see also that you get an API key or API access for this brand shop and the status which you can activate, deactivate or set into maintenance mode. And last but not least, you can also, of course, delete the sales channel down here. After saving, you also get the second tab, the theme. Here you can allocate any kind of theme that you have um, individually set up, that you derived from the standard theme, which comes out of the box, or any other theme that you can buy in our marketplace at store.topway.com. In my case, I simply derived um, a bit of changes from the standard default um, uh, storefront, which you already know from demo store. Let's have a quick look. You see, we have the default one and the brand shop one, which I um, yeah, derived. If we go to edit theme, this will bring us into the themes section under content themes. And you see this theme is a duplicate and is derived from shopper default theme. What did I do here? I adjusted a little bit of the main colors of the theme. This can be already done in the administration for, from any user that doesn't have any uh, developer or um, yeah, uh, design uh, skills in terms of individual template adjustments. So yeah, I can simply click uh, into the color picker and um, choose any other color I want. In my case, I like this little pinkish color. So if you see with the demo store, we had as the main color, this blue green color, but here with my brand shop, I picked um, this pink color, uh, which I just chose here in the theme. Further down, you see the section media and here you can set the different logos. In my case, I wanted to have the Summer Vibes logo, which you can also individualize for the different uh, end devices. You simply save it and thus the uh, template is then allocated to your brand shop Summer Vibes in my case. Cool. But in addition to those um, uh, settings you can take here in the sales channel, of course, you can also individualize what payment method is available, what shipping method is avail available, and furthermore, based on the rule builder. So if you, for example, have specific customer groups here in this brand shop summer vibes that should have uh, only PayPal available, then of course, this can be individualized by uh, the help of the rule builder. 
in addition to regional or um, localization options, translations is a big um, topic which I would like to talk about a little. Of course, translations need to be uh, maintained throughout the admin whenever content was added, as you can saw, uh, as you could see in different other videos which I created earlier in terms of, for example, catalog management categories. So if we go to the catalog management here for our brand shop, you see test category here. And anytime um, you have this language switch, it means you can maintain the language or the translation, in my case for German, test category was added as the German translation. And this holds also true for many, many other um, areas which are needed to be uh, translated, like, for example, product names description, like, for example, manufacturers, properties, but also in your CMS pages, in the shopping experiences, anytime you, do, you use, for example, um, text elements, those can directly be translated. And thus, every time you switch uh, to a different language in the storefront, the respective snippet is then displayed. So summarizing this section uh, in terms of multi-site capabilities in Shopware, it becomes quite clear that merchants have uh, very easy to use, flexible and quick features to launch additional language shops and further brand shops or additional shops to grow their businesses, for example, also internationally. If you would like to read up a little bit on the multi-site capability Shopware offers, please navigate through our um, to our um, documentation, docs.jobware.com. Under configuration, sales channel, sales channel, you can read up a little bit on how to set up a multi-site environment. Also based on sales channel, you could also um, come up with the multi-channel setup, um, uh, serving information or um, product feeds to um, uh, social shopping channels, like for example, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest, and to some product comparisons, like for example, Google Shopping. I hope you found this little video helpful on how to set up a multi-site environment with Shopware 6. Thanks for watching.